And, and you it, know, when are we going to stop it? Maybe Jim Jordan's the first step. You know, you bring the um, you bring the uh, Lloyd Austin with the two thousand troops. Maybe it's me. I thought Congress is supposed to be given approval for this stuff. And they I probably, didn't think there, there, there's probably some the resolution, Pentagon, huh? There's probably some resolution under the War on Terror that they're allowed to do it. I mean, they've been doing it since World War II. Well, then you, know you guys, you guys yeah. are a little older than me, and we have a lot of people in the in the crowd that were well, thank you. that were. Thank you, yeah, well, you know, I, I'm getting to the Vietnam point. Like, isn't this how Vietnam started? That's like, how they let's all start, started. Let's start sending in advisors. Let's start sending in equipment. You know, we talked about it yesterday too. How are we even talking about like, oh, we can afford two wars? These aren't our wars. Why the hell are right. we paying for wars that ain't ours? And now, there's two kinds of wars. wars. If you want to have it be our war, declare war. I've said it from the beginning with the Russia-Ukraine conflict. If this is our, if this is our circus and this is these are monkeys, like then let's declare war. And if we're not going to, let's just stay the hell out of it. Like it isn't our problem. The last time we even came close with Vietnam, it was the Gulf of Tonkin incident. We had a naval presence like we do outside of Israel right now. And they claimed that the North Vietnamese Army attacked a big giant Navy ship with a PT boat. (laughs) They actually said that. And that's what started the war. That's when Johnson escalated the troops and everything else. Uh, And it's been like that ever since. Um, When you look at the last time we had a congressional debate of any circumstance, and I'm sure you remember this, Wayne, was the Desert Storm. Yep. Desert yeah. Storm was the first time I heard, well, the, the esteemed gentleman from Tennessee and the yeah. esteemed gentlewoman from, I mean, it was yeah. like for days. You're right. And it was televised, and it was back and forth. And I, you know, nothing, and I think it was only one person that was against it. Right. And I don't remember and who it was, but I remember it. It was that. a Democrat, and it was a black female, and I remember her because she said, if we give all control over to the White House for to make decisions without us, then we are not only are we shucking our responsibility, but we're setting things up to in the future. That's going to hurt whatever we do. Hutch Jay. I don't know if they've ever gotten back <laughs> the control. And then we quit having no. budgets. We quit right. having budgets to, to spend it wherever you want. Nobody knows where yeah. it is. Right. Yeah. How much did the just, department of defense spend? I don't know. Yeah. Less than the interest on the debt. We know that much. <laughs> See you later, people. 